Hello! In this video I will show you another way to save your game or game settings without using storage function. Let's start from creating a player. Text object position. It will help to check position of player when we load game. And button for save and load game. Define what they gonna do by creating variables. Great, now let's make our player move by keyboard. Check it. Ok, now we can change our position and save game at new place. Next is to make save game function. Condition is clicking on save button. For action, let's create string variable save player for our player's position. Next, save a text into a file. As a text, previous variable with player's position. Save path. Here I will stop for a while. Click on some symbol and find file system. Here you will find everything you need. First you may to use is uh, this game executable folder. Plus name is uh, save.txt. Let's try. And as you see, there is no file. It will be there when you export your game already. But for now, you can find it in gdevelop folder. Let's find it. Properties of gdevelopx file. Copy the address. Delete quotes and last file name. Enter. Here we see our weird name file. By the way, useful trick for a test where it lead, you can print your file path into text object. Ok, 
Okay, but now I just wanna make file in my folder with game for show process. So I open my folder with game and copy path and put it instead of executable folder with adding double quotes. The problem now is backslash will not work as part of text. Make experiment with text object. As you see, it just cut my folder name with backslashes. Well, solution is separate our path and replace black slashes with path delimiter function. That is actual black slash for strings. Try now. Great, file finally created. In my experience notepad don't show new lines, so open from another wordpad for example. Ok, now let's make load game function. Make new event with same condition, but button is for load. Load text from file. Scene variable. It means it will create a string variable that will contain whole text from file. Let's call it load string. Load path can be copied from saving path. Now everything is loaded, let's make X and Y coordinates for player's position and move him there. I cannot know how big number for our position and how much I need to crop from text. So let's make some manipulations. Create variable player start X for point where starting number for X position in text. Manipulation of text, search in text, from string variable load string. And colon as text. The first one will be for x position and plus 2, because of space between colon and number. Next variable is player and x for end of number. Search in text from position. Same text. Search for semicolon from start of number. Now string variable player x. Keep in mind, should be string variable for we can crop part of text, and then you can put it in another numeric variable. Text is load string. Start in player start x. And length is end position minus start position. Good. Copy that. For Y everything is similar with another letter, except start variable. Let's start it from player and X position.
changing letter X to Y. Load is finished. Let's print results to position text object. and move player to loaded position. Test it. Great. It also can be used for save game settings as well. Well, that's all. Thank you for watching, hope it helped you. And if so, don't forget to leave like and subscribe on my channel. Bye!